Greetings, foolish mortals. Tis I, Cat, back with Opus Magnum. Yes, the game that was hurting my brain yesterday. I'm playing again because I love myself. Said no one. Anyway, welcome, welcome. We are so not just trying to gather a bunch of fall, bunch of my viewers together, so I can do a little sneaky, sneaky, sneaky bomb of uh, dropping a raid to a person who's celebrating their stream anniversary. No, so not doing that. She said, lying through her teeth. Anyway, let's play some Opus Magnum. And let's see how far I can get before I'm so frustrated I want to throw the wall. Uh, by the way, uh, backseating is allowed only if I say, HELP! Okay? Everyone got that? Good. Where's the game? There's the game. We are professionals here at Cat Lunacia Productions. Uh oh, Alan is messaging me. Mothura, ah ah ah, Mothura, ah ah ah, ten months already, damn. Aw, thank you, Saffron. Should have saved that for my uh, subathon coming up. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I have not been plugging the subathon like I should, like a crazy person. I, I'm trying to, but it was just like, it's really hard to plug things because I feel w weird even if it's on my own channel. You remember, I have a subathon on the 23rd, which is Friday. This Friday, actually. Oh god, it's so close. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. <laughs> anyway. Let's get to beginning. Let's get down to the business to defeat the Huns. Also, thank you for the subscription, Zephyr. Zephyr. Zephron. God damn. Good point. Why are you gonna? Why wait? You're gonna support me anyway. Anyway, uh, we're not doing Sigmar's Garden. That's completely optional, and I have no clue how to do it. <coughs> we're trying to make that health tonic. Okay. Oh God. Okay. No, sorry. I'm still half asleep. The caffeination hasn't kicked in yet. Welcome to Opus Magnum, aka Alchemy with My Brain Hurting.
grab, rotate, drop. Rotate, rotate, drop. Uh, it's called Opus Magnum. It's available on Steam for I don't know how much, but I got it on Game Pass, which means, you know, the monthly subscription. That's how I play it. Fudge! Sorry, I was also messaging. Grab, rotate. What if the sequence goes that way? Ah! You are, Zephron. You're going to rush in on it. And then rotate that way. Rotate that way. Rotate that way twice. So, right, then pull back, rotate, rotate. What did I do wrong? Let go might be useful. Oh, Bikubot's not on. I'm an intelligent little bean who forgot to turn on Bikubot. Sorry about that, Zephron. I know I forgot something. I always forget one thing when I'm doing streams. Sorry about that, Zephron. Uh, 
surprise Majima. No, I... Uh, no sound alerts. I'm gonna have to fucking take care of that later. Okay. Sequence. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Done. Done. Again? No. Hold on. I didn't even make the right shape. <laughs> Small problem. Did not make the right shape. This glyph. Nope, that's not right either. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Starting shape is wrong way round. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. You smart person, you. gonna say Alan do you want to be in call or something so you can just yell at me easierly in your barrel chested dwarven accent dwarven get you're on drugs uh... okay delete all this coding why you gotta be so hard Okay, one second, Alan. Uh... Hello? Alan? Alan? Alan, if you are here, please say a noise. Not that. Oh, what happened? Audio issues? No, I accidentally left it on push to talk. So, when I said the wrong way round, where you've got the... I'm going to just call it a, a zero, because it's got the line through it. Where you've got the zero right now at the top one, that's where the triangle wants to be. Uh-huh. The, the uh, one of the zeros to be where the green triangle is, but the other zero needs to be on the upper right of where green is going to be. Right. Whereas you had it curved the other direction, so by the time it's gone all the way around the circle, it's the one uh, wrong way around. 
Oh, so I should be controlling the top one, not the bottom one. Hold on, so... I wish I could just, like, draw it out for you. Yes, you, use your amazing drawing skills, and I can share my screen with this game, because this game is so goddamn light. Thank God. So you get a more live reaction to me screwing up. Okay, hold on. Let me pop this out so I can see it properly. Thank, thank you, Alan. I was like, you know, I should continue this game that I was playing yesterday. Remembers I don't have a rubber duck. <laughs> ah, right. Fair enough. Okay, so the you see where you, uh, you've got like the little like thingy that turns with the number one on it? Yes. Okay, so leave that where it is. Grab the green thing next to it and put that where the zero above it is. Here. Yeah, right there. Now you want to rotate it so that the zero at the bottom there is... Yeah, a bit more, a bit more. One more. There you go, right there. Oh. So what, by the time your thing has grabbed it, pushed it out a couple of spaces and rotated it all the way around, it'll now line up with the thing on the bottom, which is, I assume, where you want your end product to be. Yeah. Oh, these are movable, by the way. Oh, right, okay. These are all oh. these are all movable. Don't don't worry. I, I can move all of these things. See? 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 Okay, see. so then the thing with the, the two there, that's where you're getting your thingies from? Okay, so this is a glyph of bonding, which basically will bond one thingy to the other thingy. This is the glyph of tri bonding, which makes weird little angles and is pain in the ass. Okay. There's a there's a lot to this. Why do I Hold on, I'm 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 having I'm having to engage my brain now. Okay. Uh, caffeination. Wow, woman, I love you dearly, but wow. <sighs> what happened? <laughs> she was just like, oh no. Uh, by the <laughs> to way. me saying I have to engage my brain. Okay, so these are uh, these can pivot out, but they cannot move, and these can move in and out no matter what. So I could be okay. like that, eh, and then eh, and then eh, and then. Eh. I'm giving you a quick tutorial. I have yeah. no clue what that thing can does. They, <laughs> can they change direction, or do they only turn one direction once the sequence starts? Uh, they can like, can through. you get it to reverse direction partway? Yes. I can do clockwise and counterclockwise. Okay. And also we have tracks if we need them. Please don't tell me I need okay. tracks. <laughs> and the thing that... The thing moving the other object, the arrow thing... Uh, the... That, yeah. Can that turn whatever direction it wants? It can turn whatever direction it wants. It just has to stay stationary. The arm will be stationary. It can't go like that. I have to basically do that before I start working sequences. All right, okay. <sighs> yeah. You should have seen me yesterday playing this game. My brain broke. <laughs> I overcome. Because this would be relatively easy if we... Hold on, I'm trying to think. How, how many morons does it take to do this game? <laughs> Actually, no, we can, we, I think we can totally do this, because we can turn the other thing. Right, yeah, 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 okay, 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 okay. So, you, we need, we're going to need both of those two, like, rune of bonding things. We're not going to need that try, the, 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 like, one with the four things of bonding. Boink. So just move that out of the way. Okay, so... It's like having a tech guy in your ear. It's so useful. Yeah. Does it matter which way around those bonding things go? Because I notice they've got a little dot on one end. Uh, oh, no, that's just to tell me rotation. Right, okay, that's, okay. That's where I can grab and rotate the thing. Don't worry. So, so they're, like, monodirectional. You don't actually need to worry about which direction it's in. Mm -mm. Sorry, unidirectional. So... He's using big no. again. <laughs> I, I, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I will stop. So <laughs> I'm just trying to rotate the shape in my head. Okay, so put one of the bonding things so it is yeah because that thing can extend however you want uh, and you can only have one thing fine. there yeah. and also the bonds cannot touch as in like you can't this that thingy and that thingy cannot bump into each other they'll get mad and cause an explosion Not but the, can they can they can they pass over the bonding things without actually having to do things can you just pass through that space you can as long as there's not one in the other you know in the other hole because if there's one in the other right. hole then it will bond and then we have to reprogram everything uh right got it okay this seems so simple in my head i thought this game was going to be cute and fun it is until your brain breaks yeah 
All right, so grab one of the bonding things. Mm-hmm. Yep. I want you to place it so that it's basically touching the O on top. Okay, now rotate it so it's over on the uh, left-hand side. Oh, like this? Ye yeah, okay. Also, we only Wait, have one but then the shape wouldn't yeah. work. You're only allowed one of those things. Can you still move that, though? Oh, like, this thing? pick it up and move around? Oh, yeah. Alright, yeah. okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought those two things were, like, stuck together forever. Right. No, I should have been more specific. Yeah, so you have reagents, which are the, what these are. You have the product, which you need to make. And then the mechanisms and the glyphs and everything to make the said product, which that, which is that motherfucker. Okay, this is marvelously complicated puzzle. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I mean, for me, it's a good thing. I love, I live and breathe this kind of shit some days. It's called Opus all right. Magnum. It's all, it's all about alchemy and political intrigue. Political intrigue in a puzzle game? Okay, you know what? That's that's besides the point. Okay, so I'm trying to think now. Use that big thinky brain of yours. I am. All right, so... Also, technically, the whole point okay. of this game is to make it the most qu quickest and the most efficient way possible. I'm not going for that. I'm just going for I finished. Okay, you know what? That's fair. Okay, so... Oh, this would be so much easier with, like, a grid positioning thing. This is not grid positions. It's octagons. Hexagons. Or no, like, if I... Yeah, okay, so... I'm trying to think of a good way to describe it. So... Ah! Okay, I'm trying... I'm, you can do it. I believe in you. I'm, I'm really trying to think of a way to describe it adequately. Okay, so... Alright, so... Wet, so, from where you've got the number one up to where the green thing is... Yes. I'm going to call that an axis, alright? Alright. That line, that that's our axis. All right. I was gonna say it's also known as the water element. All, all right, whatever. So we'll from the, the one to where the green thing is, that that's 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 our axis right there. Right. So what I want you to do is count two two further along that line, and then one to the left. And I want you to put the number two thingy there. One, two, and three. Also, yeah, exactly change, there. We can change that to whatever else if you need something else. That's fair. Okay, so... Then I want you to grab the uh, element thing, which is, I assume, where it's going to be picking the part from. This one, the regent? Yep. yep. Okay, so here's my next question. Can it pass over a bonding thing without actually dropping it? Or does it just automatically get swooped straight in? It automatically gets bonded if it passes over it. Last right, time. okay. This is hard, ain't it? <laughs> it is a bit, yeah. It's like... Mm, I was... Oh, no, we have to actually move the thing first, and then it will bond it. Yeah, because it's basically... That's the little... Uh, that's where the little guys come out of the hole. And you pick it up from the hole, and you move it over, and you do the magic. Sorry. The alchemy. Okay. Right. Grab the green thing. And, okay, leave, leave, put the thingy back where it was just now. The, uh, the arm. Oh, right here? Right there. That's where I want the green thing to be, and then rotate it one thing anti-clockwise. Okay, so I would need to do... From there to there, right? Uh, no, I want you to act like actually pick it, physically pick it up and move the thing. No, the, the green thing. Leave the one where it was. This thing. There. Yep, and now rotate that whole thing anti-clockwise once. Thing. There we go. Okay, so... What we needed to do is we needed to move, get welded on, move, get welded on, and then put the product down. Yep. Right. Okay. So then it's just a relative problem. So uh, I have. When, so your so the sequence I want you to do is I want you to have that one thing, pick up what it's got there, rotate it one to the right. That's. Clockwise or counterclockwise? Clockwise. Thank you. So like that. Yes. 
Okay. There. Okay. So then take the weldy thing that you've got up there at the top. Yep. So take the side with the dot on and then rotate the other end clockwise one. Yep. Okay. So run the sequence and it should. Yep. Puts it in the correct place. Which so then bond that thing to that thing. Yep. But we also want to keep the arm right there. Which is possible. So, hold on, I'm trying to think if it will... If you extend the number two arm out one, and then swing it back and forth for me. Yeah. Yeah, that'll actually do both. That's great. So, run the sequence again. Bang. So, what we... What we want it to do is we want the thingy to, we want the arm in the middle to rotate one. Oh, arm in the middle? This one. Yeah, the arm in the middle. We want that to rotate to the right hand side. We then want arm two to grab the picker, drop it into the thing at the bottom, and then rotate back, grab the one, uh, grab another thing, rotate the opposite direction, and place it in the one at the top. So take the um, triangle. Wait. And move it down one and to the left. Wait, hold on. I think I saw something. I had a moment. Uh, wait. That can... L l hold on, let me just try one thing at a moment, because I think I had a moment. Yeah, sure, sure. I had a Eureka. Then I could do... Aha! Ha! Wait, hold on. Is that within its within its range? it is. Ha! I can't rotate. Oh no, I can rotate that way. So I can do grab, rotate, 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 stretch. Okay. Rotate, rotate, stretch, drop, rotate, rotate, grab, Rotate, stretch, drop. Let's see if that works. Wrong direction. Wrong, wrong hand. So arm two is great. It just needs to be going the other direction. You've got it. Ro you've got it rotating clockwise when you want it to go anti-clockwise at the beginning there. Right. So those two first commands you got there. You just want to change those for the other direction. Let's see if that works. Okay, now try running it. Boom. Then, okay, so what you want it to do then, once it drops it, is not change direction, pull it back, rotate it clockwise once, twice, grab the new thing, rotate anti-clockwise once, extend, and then drop. Okay, so you can rotate... Clockwise twice. Grab. Which I'm doing this. Anti clockwise, yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Grab, then anti clockwise. Stretch and drop. Drop. And we're basically making a pick and place machine. Yay! At which point, that then retracts the arms, uh, goes back to the reset position, ready for the next product, while arm one simply rotates 180 degrees and drops it in place. Oh, you're so smart. See, this is why you have Alan with you. He's smart. He has brain. Sorry, you had to explain, like, the basic principles of how the game works <laughs> to me to start. Hey, and now you understand it as the, at a better level than I do somehow. Until it starts implementing other things, and then I'm going to have to cry. And it's just automation. Automation. You play like enough automation games, this sort of stuff becomes second nature after a while. Okay. Then after that, we have to rotate it clockwise. Three times. Three times. Yeah. One. Yep. Two. Three. And, and then, then drop the product. Oh yeah, drop the product and. And then reset. Position. Hopefully this works. Let's try. Please don't explode. Please don't explode. It won't explode. Don't worry. Um. So good news, pivoting is an option. Let's just. As in, it. like we can just get it to pivot within the um, within thing the in its hand. hand. Within the hand, yeah. 
so it needs it's because I was moving the uh, because we moved the whole thing okay so now can we can we rotate where the product has to end up yeah okay oh. so just rotate the end point yeah like that job done or we just do something a lot more simpler <laughs> why work harder yeah Listen, I'm known for brute forcing puzzles. We know this. Anyone who's seen my portal, see, see me play portal, seen how many times I brute forced something. Now, honestly, you could you could make this faster if you just had two arms that simply pushed and welded at the same time, and then rotated the entire object one more thing to the right. Yes. So we could make this a lot more efficient if we had an arm, uh, two arms that just pushed, rather than one arm picking and placing. Yes, we could, but we're not. <laughs> Okay, okay. Tell you what, we're, we're ready to go to the next one. Can I show you what I'm talking about? Yes. Okay, so let's let's bring that thing back up again. Because obviously you want it to go faster. So grab that thing Wait and on. basically just... Okay, hold on. I'm trying to think of a good way to describe it. I was going to say, I can yeah. just copy this. Yeah, copy that. Open it. So get rid of the two arm. You're only, are you allowed, wait, 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 actually, that, here's the question. Are you allowed to have more than one place where the objects come out of the regions? You mean those things? Nope. Yeah. You're only nope. allowed. Nope, all right, in that case, that's as efficient as it gets. Yeah, I was about to say, see, the amount, the If you could have a second in, you could literally just have them shove, weld, and then move it on. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, story. Uh, there's a large zoo, one healthiest patriarch of the House Van Tausen. Basically, the head of the House Van Tausen was like Prince Philip. This is the best oh. way for me to explain this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, alright, okay. He has a kid, apparently they're trying to marry him off, but he's not doing that well. Political intrigue, ahoy. Long live the Patriarch Armand. Long live, I guess. You know, particularly. Right, Armand. okay. Yeah, there's plot. There's plot to this. It's actually a pretty good plot. We've been making fun of it. Fair enough, okay. Uh, I do if he stays alive. After all, he pays for everything around here. Yeah, he's our protag and he's a Brit. He's a prick. So we hate him. Okay, noted. Yeah, he's a, he's a snobbish prick. He's like, we, he basically didn't learn how to use the sequence machine until like a week before call before the final examination in the uh, alchemist college. He's been doing everything by hand because it's better. <clears throat> All right. Okay. And then like he got snobby while learning, and then like he's like, why don't they? I'm the he I'm the head alchemist of this family. He just basically went straight into like a head position out of college, and he's like, no one actually recognizes my greatness. I'm like, dude, dude. Dude, you're new. Also, you're with a bunch of old people who have the memory of a teensy fly. Yeah, okay. And also, that lady's basically like, yeah, you should really show more appreciation for the house that hired you. A little boost. Yeah. Necessary to hide. What do you want about? He put a little boost in. A little boost at the necessary time is how he put it. To put what? Armand is worried about Frederick. Oh, scandal. <laughs> Apparently so, I would say. Particularly, he wonders if Frederick will be able to produce an heir. Oh, you're making a little blue pill. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We're making the happy pill. Mmm. I'm to make him a potion that will give him a boost at the necessary time. I get it. <laughs> it's not unusual. Stamina potions have long been used for such purposes. I'm glad to know that's a thing in this universe. Oh, come on. People don't chug a Red Bull? You don't chug a Red Bull before going... No! Don't! <laughs> Audience, if you're listening to me... Do not do that! <laughs> Get your gamer subs. Sorry. I'll I'm gonna, stop. I'm gonna throw my G my gamer subs at your head. <laughs> <laughs> I got an empty canister somewhere. It's holding it's currently holding bottle caps. I will use it. Why is it got bottle caps in? I needed a, a really loud scary noisemaker to scare the squirrels away. Fair enough. <laughs> they keep attacking the bird seed. Um, it's not making any issue for me, it's thinking about it. Ah, the baking isn't the problem. It's thinking about it that's making you annoyed. You should know better than to use your imagination in cases like this. Yeah, solve this puzzle. How hard can it be? Hey! Okay. Uh. Okay. So we're about to introduce you to the concept of us being able to turn lead into gold. I was going to say, because we don't have the necessary regions for that. Mm -hmm. So, in order to make... I'll just break out the chart. This is the chart. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, this is where I got it. Yeah. So basically, we need to turn lead into iron. Iron. Yeah, iron. 
You know, points for them using actual alchemy symbols. So it will need two quicksilver to be an iron. Okay. Lead goes into there. Quicksilver goes into there. It makes the magic chemical. Don't think about it too deeply. Okay. And we have this. Oh, God. My brain just did that thing that I hate. Distilled water. Yeah, did you know Dasani sponsored this thing? <laughs> Decide. Okay, okay. So we have to take two elements, create an intermediate part, which then we have to wedge between those two things, which we also have to rotate around before welding it onto. Okay. Okay. Uh, good thing we already have salt made, because then. Just... Sorry, wait one. Okay, I'll just be figuring this out. Sweetheart, did you already put the thing in the fridge? Hi, Hannah. Ah, oh, right. Okay, give me a sec. I'll just be doing the math. Yeah, audience, also, don't chug Red Bull and coffee, too. D don't do that either, unless you want to fucking die. Wait! I have an idea. Tracks! <laughs> okay. What the hell is that thing? It's a track. Uh oh, we get tracks? Yeah, we get tracks. You're excited now. Okay. <laughs> I I am a little bit. That actually makes some of this probably a good deal easier cuz Yeah, uh we can manipulate the part a bit more. Yeah, my idea was basically we have one section to dedicate it to making iron. Yeah. And then we basically have the track grab grab the finished product, move it yeah. over to somewhere, and basically input those things. Yeah. Could put it up here. The bugerance is going to be only having one place for the distilled water to come out while still needing to weld it to both sides of the uh, object. And remember, folks, we can't have two things... Mm, wait, hold on. We can't have two points of entry for a product. Yeah, and the elements cannot touch or explosion. Not literally an explosion, but that's the joke we've been making. Oh, I, I mean, it's more like, you know, objects can't really pass over an intervening space that's not empty. Okay, Captain Science. Me, 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 me. Did you want my help or not? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> what the heck is this one? Uh, Perfectly balanced in all aspects, the Glyph of Equilibrium does nothing but remain where it is placed. Use it as a convenient marker or for aesthetic consideration. Oh, okay, oh, okay. okay. So it's, it's like putting a pin in something. Okay, because I'm like, what is that thing? We didn't learn that in the tutorial. Okay. So if we use the... I like the ones that stretchy. They make me laugh. They're like, woo! But they're also super handy in manufacturing. Pick yeah. and places, well... A magical thing. I think you can only do one hand per track. I can do two hands per track. Huh. Oh, this changes a few things. Not everything, but a few things. Yeah, it does a bit. Okay. okay. So we need. Uh, so we can have pushers push those two elements onto the thing. Which side does the end product come out on? Uh, the end product, basically, you put the lead in here, quicksilver, quicksilver, lead comes, turns into iron there. Right, okay, so... I could have a whole hand okay. dedicated. I could have, like, one of these singular hands dedicated to all of that. Its purpose in life yeah, is to make but that's, iron. It is going to slow the process down a fair bit, because that that's the thing we're kind of waiting on. Oh, yeah. It'd be better to have a couple of pushes. So, one pushes the iron element on, one pushes quicksilver on, comes back, pushes another quicksilver on, and then the arm that you've got marked as number one, like, just grabs the finished product and then moves it away while... So that's... One... So that goes I'm trying to... I'm... That can go here... No. Here, and that, that, and that? And yeah, pretty much. Okay. Same with the other side. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, and you said it needs two quicksilver? It needs... That needs two quicksilver to become iron. 
and there's no way to feed both of them simultaneously. Mm -mm. Oh, Alright, okay, so that that's... Easy. So that's gonna be the first, like, hurdle of where we're going for it. Um, we can't weld anything to the... We have to pick up a thing and move it out of its holder before we can do anything to it, can't we? Or can we weld it while it's still in that nope. thing? No. Uh, okay, so yeah, we, we got really got to manipulate the shit out of this. Yeah, this is, I'm about to do what I call work on one little section of the thing to see if it works, and then work on the rest later. We're, 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 we're deep. Yeah, no, that's absolutely how you should do it. You can work on optimization later. Screw. Okay, so this is called iteration. Okay, so grab, rotate, anti-clockwise. Yep, and drop. Drop. Then reset. Well, no, if I reset, it does that over again. So what we have to do is... Ah, right, we'll work out the spacing and timing later. Yeah, it needs to grab and then push up. And then let go. You've got those the wrong way around. I have no clue what you're talking about. Uh-huh, okay, <laughs> whatever. So... Three just needs to put, uh, pick up, push, let go, retract. Mm -hmm. let go. And then repeat that again. Retract and then repete. Yep, so all... pick up, push, let go, retract. This is so exciting, isn't it, class? 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 No. Okay, run uh -oh. sequence. Error. Cannot extend or retract. Which one is it saying? It says three can't retract. Why can't three extend or retract? Hold on. Can it not retract? Can it not extend over the thing it's grabbing out of? No. Right, okay, okay. I, I made That's easy thing. enough. Just move the Quicksilver up one and then put the three where the Quicksilver is now and just have it rotate like four does. Oh, right. At which point you just take the same sequence four is running, change the direction, and you run it twice for three. Right. Is there a copy paste option? No, there is not. Ah. All right. Okay. So, pick up, clockwise. Drop. drop pick up clockwise. Anti-clockwise. Grab. grab, and then oh, right. go on. Anti-clockwise. Pick up. Clockwise. And drop. Drop. Wait, that not that pickup? The one with the circle filled in? Maybe. Yeah, okay. Run it. Good okay, news, so now yeah. you've got your oxygen there. Four isn't resetting back to where the high, it's picking up the original product. Iron. So that arm is currently in the way. Iron, not oxygen. <laughs> Sorry, it looks like an oxygen thing. Okay, so... Yeah, there you go. So the lead... So the arm for the lead needs to rotate. Hold on. There we go. I have it set to reset, and then it just does the sequence all over again. Ah, right. Okay, okay. In that case, yeah, just resetting at the end works. And then what we can... So now you have your... What oh, was it? Iron? Iron. Let's not think about okay. that right now and how we're making a little blue pill. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, so... Now, now comes the buggerance because we need to grab that molecule and we need to weld the purified water to both sides. Wait, I might have had a moment again. I think. Okay. Sure. Rubber duck. Okay, we'll grab mm -hmm. this, and then you would need to move one's initial starting position because it can't grab straight up or down. Fudge. So move it over to the right one, and then you're laughing. Or just do that. Yeah, that's what... I didn't realize you could pick up entire parts of the factory. I just learned that today. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, I'm i new. Can you tell they didn't give me full instruction? Or they did, and I wasn't paying attention. What are those two options? Okay, okay, you're saying you're new. How long have we How long have we been in this call? Hold on. Uh, started... 30 minutes ago. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm the apprentice here. Oh, God. You're, I, you're the green beard. Yes. I don't like this. How does it feel? What? Responsibility. I've already do it with two other people. <laughs> okay, so uh, grab the purified water. Uh, okay. Throw it over a bit further to the left. Meh. 
No, way further over to the left. So the way I, the way I envision this is we have an arm grab the purified water thing, move it to the right a little, we move uh, or a rail or something. We have an arm that just picks it up, extends, and drops it. Mm. Wait, yeah. So move that glyph of bonding over to the right one. Oh, right. Oh, actually, no, because it won't place there. Yeah, to the left one. Yeah, so there. No, one more to the right, sorry. There. We sure Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember, right, we, so, we can also rotate this if you need. So, leave that where it was. So, my thought is, we have an arm that's to the left of where the green thing is for the uh, module, the thingy is. Mm -hmm. It grabs that. Oh, right, because as soon as it picks it up, it, a new one appears. We can't just extend out from that, can we? No, I, this is where my idea kicks in. So my idea yeah. is like yours, but reverse. Okay. So what we do is we... We do that, have this little guy, pop over here, put that there. Now, go with me on this insanity. Mm-hmm. We either get a third, another hand to basically... Its whole job is to pivot things. Yeah, I was thinking we'd have to do that. So this would grab, drop it here. Yep. And then we have another hand, or even this hand. This hand could do it itself. I don't grab it, pop the thing there. They get welded together. Uh huh. And then like, and then pivot, pivot, pivot. Hopefully it pivots right. Grabs it. This hand drops it there. Okay. I think I, I think I figured this out. I think I figured this out. I don't know why. Why are we using a track? No one knows. Third seat. Well, we're gonna need that later. Later, later, later. Okay, so that needs to grab... It needs to start off out of the way first, so you need to retract it one. This one? Number two? Or no, number one. one. Number one. Number one, engage. Because the arms are going to be moving in the way there. You need that to pick up, uh, extend out and grab the object after the thing finishes. Like that? Yeah, there you go. At which point, then it needs to rotate around to where the... It needs to go clockwise three times, Let's... so that it ends up in the correct position for welding. Yeah, and... so then you need to take the purified water, rotate it clockwise once. Okay, then the purified water needs to be grabbed, rotate... Uh oh. No, I, no, I meant like the actual dispenser it needs to be rotated, but that sequence works. Yeah, or uh, no, we'll have to rotate it once. Yeah. Like that? Yeah, like that. Like that, yeah. So then when the uh, arm number two comes back, it's in the correct position. They weld, but now we need to reset arm one so that it lets go of the oxygen molecule comes back to where it's meant to be and then it can just repeat the sequence later on um, but um so that lets go wait no 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 we don't even need to let go here uh because we're going to be using that to pivot that way one two testing sequence oh oh you can let it just rotates the shit that's in the arm yeah Oh right. Okay. So then, rotate that. It doesn't even need. It doesn't even need to extend out. Yeah. No. So. So I... when number? Okay. Run the sequence and then just stop it when I say. Stop it there. Oh. Just as uh, just after it welds on. So leave the arm holding the. Is it the iron? Sorry, in the middle. Yep, iron. <laughs> number two just needs to rotate back while one is rotating grab a fresh one and then slap it on the side. Yep. So, it needs to rotate clockwise. Grab, rotate counterclockwise again. And then... And then let go. And then, wait, I have an idea. Wait, no, it'll, it, it'll attach. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. I'll fix that in a second. <laughs> uh -oh. May not be moved in two directions. Oh, right, because it's trying to pull it away. Uh -oh. Right. We 
have a small problem. What's that? Wait, no, we don't. We have tracks. <laughs> yeah. Because then what we can do is grab, do that, and then make it go shimmy, 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 and go over there. Yeah. Or you could just move the end point of the sequence and just have it above where it's being welded. At which point, one, uh, so once number two slaps the second one on, have it let go, pull back, arm one just needs to extend at that point and drop it in place. Right. So basically, let go. Yeah, let go, and then have arm one extend out one. <laughs> Best thing no, so it needs to be after the drop, or do, can it be at the same time? Let's find out. Cause I don't know. I can't remember. Grabs the thing, slaps wait, it there. Wait, what? what wait, what, what, what the hell happened to two? Because I moved it. Oh, all right. Well, that's fine. That's a my bad. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Uh, so. <laughs> yep. Now run it. Why does one rotate to the right there? It just needs to let go. Because someone, me, forgot to do the uh, to do the let go sequence. Right. Okay. And then reset. Yep. And then basically reset everything else. Pretty much. Oh boy. You get a reset. Everybody gets a reset. We're like Oprah Winfrey on the resets. Boom. It's very nice to watch. It is weirdly satisfying when it works, right? The fuck? What was that? What was what? Abe the peanut, babe. Yeah, what, what? Morning. Oh, I forgot I had the Illuminati music available for bits. Also, you are so <laughs> tiny! <laughs> Alan, you're so tiny. Am I? Yeah, you're, you're, you're tiny. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm not looking at your stream. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I am. Well, That'll I... be from when uh, we were doing Deep Rock last time, I think. I think so, too. You were so tiny. I untinied you a little bit. Huzzah. It's also because I've been manipulating a bunch of things for the, stream, the subathon, and I forgot to fix it. <laughs> ah. Okay. Uh, phrasing? Oh, phrasing now works. My sound <laughs> alerts have been broken. If I use the actual sound alerts program, it hasn't been working well. Uh, I hope okay. I hope Frederick enjoys that potion. <laughs> Confetti yep, also works. I'm sure he'll be riveted. Yep, he'll arise to the occasion. Mm -hmm. Arma must believe Frederick's marriage is close at hand. Really? Will it be the young Drinker. lady from House Soria? Hydrate. <laughs> As Abe just activates every alert. <laughs> I was just specula speculating. How exciting! The city will celebrate for days. A union of House Vantazen and House Soria. Allegedly. As provisioner, you have a lot of work to do. But it would be but it would be for a wedding. Yeah, because nothing's more fun than a wedding. Ain't one of the mm. most stressful things on the planet. Uh, you Honestly, arrange, yes. You arrange the party in the streets, I arrange the party in the sheets. Ah! Yep, I thought he was trying not to think about it. You thought about it. Also, apparently, thank you for the six nine sixty nine and six nine bits. <laughs> yeah, that that's that's pretty much Abe's mo. Yeah, I gotta figure out what six nine sixty nine plus six nine is, so I can just make a special alert just for Abe. <laughs> oh dear. That would not surprise me. Well, yes, well. Act of aggression. <gasps> Plot. That's when I decided we need to re to re-inventory everything in the building. You should have seen the look of Armand's face. Hmm. Anateus, are you paying attention? Hmm. That answers the question. What? You're melping. Also, my alert didn't go off for bits. My oh, okay. Is that broken as well? I have no clue nowadays. Oh, sorry guys, you're seeing the bat you're 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 seeing behind the curtain. My goodness. It's a nice curtain. 
it should it's a lovely be. curtain, I'm certain. It's, it should be working. It's just not working. Hold on. Let me test something. Yeah, no worries. Okay, that works. Okay, the chat works. It's just the alerts for the uh, bits aren't working. Because I didn't even hear a ping. Oh, now I do. I think the alerts are a little delayed. Hmm. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Yeah. One little spark of inspiration. Yep, that works now. Yeah, I think it's just stream elements being a little delayed. It's, Maybe. Yeah, that's normal. Oh, God. Anyway, you're moping. I'm not moping, I'm merely moodily dejected. That's what moping is last time I checked. That's exactly what moping is, you pedantic fuck. Jesus. And what ha has the great alchemist of Va House Van Tausen so moodily dejected? Nothing. I mean, I'm thinking about why I'm here. Why are we oh, here? Oh, God. Why are we here? Start Just to suffer. <laughs> no, hold on. Someone start quoting, uh, someone start quoting Red versus Blue. Why are we here? <laughs> you know, that's a question I think about a lot sometimes. I mean, are we just like some giant cosmic accident? Or is there like a garden stuff with like a plan and stuff for us? I don't know, man. But it keeps me up at night. No, I mean, why the fuck are we in this game? Oh, fuck knows. <laughs> they built a blue base over there, so we built a red base over here. So now there's... Uh, so even if the Reds left and we went and took their base, we would have two bases in a box canyon in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> uh, nothing. I mean, I'm thinking about why I'm here. Right, we said it. You're here because you're our alchemist. I mean, in the larger sense. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's exactly what we were just talking about. <laughs> the alchemist is here. Is it? Do you want to play the snooty rich, the snooty rich drunk... Uh, uh, the general over here, Captain. Sure, I'll 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 give it a go. Hmm, the alchemist is here, isn't he? Captain Gilt, what can I do for you? Your presence is required in the main hall. It's a matter of some urgency. What happened? An aggressive move from another house has taken us by surprise. We need to respond immediately. Oh, my alchemy is at your disposal. You almost sound excited. I am! Finally! Something significant is happening! Dude! I don't know how to tell you this, but one of the greatest insults you can give to a person is I hope you live during a historic time period. May you live in interesting times. Ugh. Yes. Uh, alchemy is the highest art. Practitioner's guide. Da 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 da. By choosing a delicate da da da. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. More plot. Oh, my God. You know, when I said the joke about saying that the Armand Van Tazen was like Prince Philip, I was making a joke. I did not know he looked like that. I'll be honest, he kind of looks like a grand wizard. Oh, God. Like he's got that very Kentucky vibe about him. He's a Kentucky wizard. <laughs> yes, I'm going to perform alchemy with my 11 herbs and spices. <laughs> you make that joke. Uh, how's Colvin? That's unfortunate. I will lodge a formal protest. Yes, because formal protests always help. I shall begin developing weapons for a counterattack. Something like a flame grenade with... Guilt! You're lying! I doubt that will be necessary. It's not uncommon for houses to renegotiate territories this way. <laughs> you kind of sound like Richard Nixon if he was English. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anymore. But they've taken over multiple buildings with of ours without any resistance. Maybe they want to go to a, sh a less shit cat house. I'm just saying. The guy look... It looks like your house is going to fall. We're just, you know, abandoning ship. We are the rats! <laughs> They'll stop pushing forward soon and attempt to reinforce the new borders. That's how it goes with this sort of thing. We should push back at least a little bit. We wouldn't want to look weak after all. Yeah, because the corpse on the throne doesn't make us look weak enough. They have a, they have a dead man on the throne? Yeah, it's called him. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'll execute a limited rearguard action with forces stationed in the area. Yeah, uh, basically there are multiple houses. I don't know if there's a king or not, but, like, House Phantasm is, like, I think, 
it's dwindling and dying. Has, uh, Armand is trying to keep himself alive with magic health potions to make, so he can guarantee that his son Frederick, who is kind of a disappointment according to according to what I have inferred, uh, is you know guaranteed to be married and have maybe many babies. So I'm assuming that this house is like dying and it's on its like last. Breath. It sounds like it. The guy's literally trying to stave off retirement so his son can fuck and maybe produce a grandson. That's not such a disappointment. Basically, yes. That that's all. Yeah. Mm. Listen, House Colvin doesn't want a full-on battle any more than we do. We'll trade a few streets, and that should be the end of it. Oh right, I should shout you out. Huh? No, don't do that. Alan, just watch the stream and have it unmuted while I do your shout out. Because you've been, you've oh, never god. seen my. I made a special shout out for you. Oh, did you? Oh god, hold on. This is the daycare boss, a dwarven desert frog. So intimidating. Waits to see how long it takes for Alan to hear it. Get that sound bite. Where did I get that sound bite? <laughs> I have been watching you and Numb do work to get do stuff together. I clipped it and then I downloaded that clip to get the audio. <laughs> what is that noise? Just <laughs> do you remember when I made that joke about the o sand and the oyster? Oh God, yeah. That's that. Re that's your reaction sound. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that was ages ago. Holy shit! Mm -hmm. I have been watching you and Numb do streams together, trying to find funny little sounds. Fair enough, and apparently I make quite a few of them. Yeah. What if Sun Gate? Well, that's what the magic potion we just made is for. Yeah, yeah. We to give him stamina. Yeah. Uh, your turn. Oh yeah, you've already done that line. I believe young Tarvos Colvan is the head of that family now. Likely he's to test our response. Ah, yes. I will send message to him, and we shall settle this like honorable Hello. houses. Hello? Aros? Mm, he was a bright boy. I'm sure he'll... Yes, I'm sure he'll listen to reason. That was Fuck, my... that's the wrong person. I'm sure he'll listen to reason. Yeah! Reason! Oh, hey there, buddy! I'm Kazuma Kiryu, oh, God, the dragon the of Dojima. I'm Sigmas here to keep here. I don't do Sigma's Garden. It's completely optional. It's like doing pie show and Chinese checkers. Uh, I all, I don't know what pie show is. I just remember that I am terrible at Chinese checkers. A uh, pie show was the not Chinese checker slash shogi of Avatar: The Last Airbender, the White Lotus maneuver. That was a way for the light, White Lotus to find each other. Ah, huh, okay. The secret society. This is not the best use of my time. The Petrarch has personally requested it! That doesn't change anything. Well, as heir, Frederick must make a public appearance in the battle. Otherwise, it may be a problem for the family's honor. And because I told you to, you stupid bitch. Now get in the lab. <laughs> I get that part. It's the part about his hair needing to be styled perfectly that I don't understand. Okay, you know, I'm kind of... I about... don't expect a peasant to understand fashion! I'm a scholar. I have to go to college. I have to pay for that shit. I don't think I'm peasant. This is war! This... <laughs> Precisely, and that's why hair gel needs to be extra strong, and preferably not flammable. <laughs> Do you even understand what you're saying, right? what I'm saying right now? No, you're the chemist, dammit! This is how houses work, Anateus. The way things look is very important. Maybe even more important than the way things are. I'm starting to learn that, yeah. Oh! Alan dub for everything. Oh my god. Wait. Oh god. Well, that's easy. I think. Yeah. Oh. Why am I... Why is this so easy? I'm scared. Because <laughs> we only have one reagent. That's why it's scary. Yeah, but you only need one welder as well. Oh, shit. <gasps> Alan, you genius. I know. <laughs> and then you just need one arm that literally does nothing but ro pick up a thing and rotate five times and then drop it. <laughs> do, we don't, do we need a stretchy arm? Yes, we need a stretchy arm. I mean, if you want style points, sure, but I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, you will need it because of the shape, yeah. Okay, so... 
Grab. Boop. Okay. No. 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 Oh. 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 Okay. I'm going. To, I'm going to teach you the 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 filthy <laughs> fucking thing, because we can just weld it straight to the thing that's still in that holder, don't we? Wait. That's not the welder. That's the dot welder. That's the opposite of the welder. <laughs> we need the welder. Okay. So. Bear, bear with me here. Yeah. Now put the region underneath the arm. Like this. Yeah. So. Oh god, we have to we have to move the region, weld it then. Okay, we will in fact need a second arm. So put grab another one and put it directly below where number one is. Like this. Right that. So what number one's gonna do is he's gonna grab that, rotate twice, to uh, rotate clockwise twice. Number two is then going to swing in, grab the second one. Rotate anti-clockwise, drop, and then repeat that until we have a long enough chain. Okay, repeat that. To, okay, so then this one. Okay, so this one, grabs. one is going to grab the thing, rotate to rotate clockwise twice. Number two, which you're going to set in the position uh, so the arm is just below where the region is. There. Soon as number one is out of the way, number two swings in, grabs another region. Okay. Might want to so, let go. Yep. Okay. So. What? Uh, what, the, what just happened there? Okay. Restart. So, number two, where it is now, needs to rotate anti clockwise once more. Boom. Okay. Okay, the one needs to not just keep fucking going. That's because I... Uh, Counterclockwise, Punk Moogle. We're, we're using English because we're in an English country. Right, so... Run the sequence. There. Now... Number two doesn't want to turn clockwise, uh, anti-clockwise again. It wants to switch back over to where the region is. Grab another, and it just needs to go back and forth. So reset. Yeah. Uh. Okay. What? Okay. No. No. No repeat commands. Because apparently it's just repeating the whole sequence. All right. So run it till it stops. Okay. Why does one keep going? It's not being told to rotate that much. Because basically it just repeats itself. Okay, can you tell it to just run till it gets to the end of the sequence and not keep going? Um, yeah. I mean, it was. I swear it was doing that before. Wait, hold on. Haha, -ha, repeat! Maybe not! Okay, so... Get, get, get it to run until it hits the end of what sequence two, uh, two is running on. Uh, okay, so... Let me, let me describe what I'm trying to do. So, one grabs the thing, puts it into the upper position there. Number two, then just swings back and forth repeatedly, just grabbing region until we oh. have a long enough string. Oh, 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 okay. Grab. Rotate. Let's just try this. Why does it keep doing that? Stop that! I don't know. They need uh, number one needs to wait a second between moving around. I don't know what that thing does. We're just trying it out. Yeah. So before two swings back, oh. one needs to continue its rotation. One. Okay. So wait. Hold on. I just had a thought. So then one moves around one more before two brings the arm back around. Grabs. Uh, no. Wait, does, does it actually have to drop it for the weld to happen? No. See? All right. So then let it keep holding on to one and then it just rotates one more position. This looks like a lot of a headache. Honestly, it's just automation. Like, yeah. this is normal stuff. 
If you know what you're doing, it's fine. What did I do wrong? Oh! I know what I did wrong. I forgot to let go. And then... Rotate back. Wait. Yep. We're on rotation. Rotate that way. Grab. Rotate back. Let go. Oh. By the way, Shadow Iron Wolf the Skeleton. SO at Wolf the Skeleton. There we go. Ah, last playing Pokemon Coliseum. Good game. There we go. Now, we just have one extend at one, and then it just rotates the piece into position, and then let's go. Right. So, extend at one, and let go? Yep. Uh, no, it needs to rotate the thing that's in its hand, like, four times. Oh. You know, we can move this. Yeah, we totally can. I forgot about that. Um, in that case, yeah, we just... Yeah. Let's just figure out where the end position is. Wait! So then have one for, uh, rotate around... Yeah, it will need to extend out, because otherwise part of the object is going to be on the thing. Oops. Yeah, we don't need the extender anymore, like, at all. Aww. So ditch that. Okay, so grab just... the end point. Grab the... Move that over one to the right. Like this? The whole to the right. There, yeah. So then, once the arm comes all... Once the arm comes all the way around, it needs to just rotate what it's holding, and it'll be needing to rotate it once, twice, three times. It'll need to rotate the object it's holding. Right. Yeah, exactly. Wolf. I'm just having a really hard time trying to fucking explain what I'm talking about. Okay, so you know how need two needs to... Two's let go at this point, hasn't it? Yep, and I think I might have figured it out. Might have. No, the arm moved, not the object in it. Pivot one more time. There you go. Magic. Uh, two, uh, two that needs to have a reset at the end of it there. So it goes back to its original position before the sequence repeats. Oops. Uh, yeah. What did we do? Oh. You need to you just put in a couple of spaces and a wait. Just a couple of spaces and then do the thing. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so you need a, you'll need another weight there because you need one to start doing its thing before two starts. Or do it like that. So one has to come back to its original position, then everything starts moving again. So like that, like that. Yes. We did Boom. it. We made hair gel. Yeah, we've made very tough hair gel for some. Off. Listen, it is the son of the head of the house of the house of blah 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 Prince Philip. Yeah. Bunny Lich Branko Burr. <laughs> Honestly, I once once you start grasping the concepts that are needed, a lot of it just kind of follows on after. And then I imagine there's just ways to make this way more efficient. Oh yeah. Uh, this ought to keep Frederick's hair solidly in place even if he wanders into a cyclone. Excellent. I shall have this sent to his personal staff immediately. Here's hoping his well-styled hair helps him in battle. He won't he enter the fight. That would be madness. No, he'll stand at the back directing the battle with a glass of salsa and his magnificent hair. I was about to make that joke. 
He just needs to be out in the street for a little while so people can see him and bask in the glory of his locks. Will he make a little speech or something? Probably best if he doesn't. He will hold up his sword. That should be enough to inspire the soldiers. And then we'll take it away to be polished. Wanted to check out what this is, but the link doesn't work anymore. What link? What, what, wait, what, what are we talking about? Hello? Hold on, let me check the thread there. The, oh, it's the creation snacks link. Oh, yeah, it's... it's. Oh, I guess I gotta remove the creation snacks thing. I guess it's not working anymore. Hmm. Oh, no! Yeah, Moogle Coffee might be a good idea, yeah. Uh, sponsorship. Yeah, my sponsorship with them, I think, is kind of... now. Uh, I'll take your word for it. Why am I back here? Get me out of here. I don't want to make more hair gel. Oh, menu. Well, yeah, let's not go back to making fucking hair gel, shall we? Rocket propellant! Let's do that instead! Oh, fuck yeah, that sounds interesting. Let's go! Shouldn't they have they stayed their attack by now? Captain. Oh, sorry, I freaking... I accidentally opened up your stream rather than the Discord thing. Hmm, perhaps they need to have a little more prompting. Maybe we shouldn't attack them, I'm just saying. I had the rockets brought out of storage, but much of the propellant has leaked away. I'm sorry, why were you keeping them in a storage unit? When was the last time they were used? Ah, uh, long before either of you were born. Um, okay, I'm right. fairly certain my grandfather welded these. I, I'm fairly certain that we should just die as a house. Well, it's no problem. I'll just make a new propellant. I'm certain that would be more powerful than what you had before anyway. Aren't we sanguine today? <clears throat> I'm blood? Oh. Okay. Wait, so we have to convert the fucking molecule again? Mm -hmm. But this one won't be that hard. Because all you need is the glyph of calcification. Okay, so that turns it into the iron? Solid. Uh, salt. Uh, yeah, salt. That, the zero All slash right. thing is called salt. Alright, okay. This is fire. Rocket propeller go burp. Uh, okay. So I'm guessing we just drop the iron onto the calcification thing and it just turns it straight into it. We don't need to let it go or anything? We have to just swipe the fire over the thing and it calcifies it. Oh, it just has to pass over? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Just pass over, and now congratulations, you've made salt. That's how you make salt, everybody, in this universe. Okay, so the way I see it, we just need to... Question why we're making rocket propellant? I mean, it, it, it's a war. It happens. Okay, so we're going to need an arm to manipulate the string we're going to make, one to feed the welder, just like we did last time, where we had the two arms doing stuff. Yeah, one exactly like that, just picking up objects and putting it on. I have an idea. I have an idea, but it's dumb. yeah. Grab, so, put, grab, put here, put here, grab, put here, then grab and push away, and that makes a sequence of three. Yep. I figure out how to make. At which point you just have have one arm grab the one in the middle. At which point, you can just have it uh, stick one end into the assembler we're going to use for calcification to weld it on that end, pull it back out, rotate the whole thing, and then just jab the other end straight in. <laughs> so basically just like, you know, sticking a freaking... Um, sticking a knob at the end of a freaking shaft. You just rotate the whole thing around, jab it in the machine, rotate it around to the other end, jab it in again. Job done. Are you having fun saying the word knob? <laughs> yes. Uh, the wizard staff has a knob on the end. Okay. Um... Right, I'm gonna be right back. I need to take a leak. Okay, I'm just gonna be like, woo! Whee! Cat, focus. No! Wait. Idea! It's a small world after all. Okay. 
Okay, this is stupid. Don't do that. <laughs> Oh no, Cat has an idea. Always fear when I say I have an idea. Wait, that doesn't work. They're too close together. Rack. Cat is silent and is doing things. The moment he is back, we will have be, will the half place be already standing in the flame? Hey, 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 hey! Nothing is going to be standing in flames while I am concentrating, I promise. What did I do wrong this time? Ah! There. Try again. Okay, so there's a small problem. Just a tiny one. Wait, hold on. Ha 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 ha. Yes, when I complicate, I overcomplicate everything. I'm the queen of overcomplicating shit. Alright, so I return. Hello, welcome to- I figured out one part! Hold on, let me pull up the stream again. Yeah. Okay! Okay. So we have made the thing. 
Although I need to make that an extendo arm, not a standard arm. Crap. I have to do this all over again. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Right, Silent is doing things at the moment. He's back. Will the half the place be already standing in flames? When Cat makes stuff too complicated, can you all hear the steam engine running hot in her shell? <laughs> yes, yes. Everyone can hear the steam running hot in my shell. Also, I also have to go to the restroom. Okay, let's see if I got the sequence right. Okay. What I do wrong? Okay, run it for me again. Let me see. Oh. So two is holding on to the thing when it, three tries to move it along and advance it one. Uh, no, it's still holding on to it there. You need a release command for two at the end of its sequence there. I do have a release at the command at the, t at the end of t Oh, it's because I have the reset. You have a reset, not a release. Oh, there's a reset right there. Hold on, I think I figured it out. It's a timing thing. I think it's a timing thing, yeah. Nope. Yeah, it's still holding on to it. Okay. You look at okay, this. Okay, forget the reset <laughs> and just... <laughs> like, yeah, let's try that. Okay. Rotate back! Yep. And let's try this again. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because it's trying to grab it again. Eh. Okay, so... Instead of trying to just be clever and have number two repeat the set of commands infinitely... We need to be a bit more verbose with what we're asking it to do, because it's not understanding. It's like me. <laughs> so, right now, what 2 is trying to do is grab, rotate right, let go, rotate left, grab, and just repeat, un you know, forever. Which is fine, because that's what we're asking it to do. What we need it to do is repeat that action. We need it to repeat that action once, twice, and then we need it to do something different before it repeats itself. Queen of Chaos, Queen of Overcomplicating Stuff. Damn, you are. You've grabbed everything that could sound bad in a job interview. Yeah! Um, let's see. Think, 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 think. Okay, okay right? so. Three, uh, arm 3 is fine. What, it, what, uh, what Arm 3 is doing right now is fine. So, run the sequence. Okay, see what it's doing there. It's grabbed the thing again and it's moving it already. What we want at this point, when we have the two stuck together, we want three to grab that instead, move it to clockwise once, and then rotate what's in its hand anti-clockwise before um, arm one comes down, and it will then, yeah. So two, at this point, needs to just be doing Nothing. Tell it to just do nothing but let go of everything. Touch nothing. Booyah. Yeah, it just keeps automatically grabbing you there. Okay, okay. Maybe we're overcomplicating this. We are overcomplicating it. Get rid of that second let go and just put in a second rotate. No, 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 no. <coughs> Leave the arm there. <laughs> when you said get rid of the second, I was like, okay. Okay, so what we want that thing to do, so recreate the sequence as it was, but instead of having it go left once to where it was originally uh, set, have it go left twice so that the arm is then out of the way so one and three can do the next bit of the sequence. There we go. So, now we've made progress. We have that bar of three that we're after. And three currently has hold of it to manipulate the thing. Right. We also need to make the salt. We do, but we uh, now we just need to work out a se uh, sequence of events that allows three to jab each end of the thing into the calcified thingy. Right. I'm going to do a... Uh... Okay, well, you extended that too soon.
Yeah, it's extending and then rotating. It wants to rotate it earlier. Go over there. It's rotating and extend. What the hell? Just get rid of the extend command altogether. Done. Okay, hit play. Okay, so instead of rotating, so once it's got the thing and it's holding onto all three uh, bits, we don't want it to uh, move it out the way then. What we want is for it to grab the middle bar or so for something else to grab the middle ball and then start manipulating it from there. So what we could do is have a forearm reach in, grab the middle uh, ball, which will be next to the one that three is holding at the time. Grab hold of that, three lets go. It then retracts, taking the entire assembled part away from the machinery that we have working there. And then we get that to start working. Uh, we work out the positioning we're gonna want for the calcification thing going on. Like this. Yes. Okay. I think we got this. Okay. So at this point, this is where three needs to let the hell go so that four can grab that middle one. Yeah. There we go. So. Okay. Now. So. Let's move some of this stuff out there. So we've got we've got the main components sorted now. Mm. Now we need to work on the assembly that we're going to use to calcify the thingy and put it into a welder. Right. Which should be easy enough because you said the... Um, Thing just passes through. The, yeah, as soon as it passes over the like little weird symbol there, it calcifies and then you just put it in a thing. At which point, we just need an arm that grabs the object passes extends passing over the calcification thing and then just drops it straight into where we're going to be welding it yeah don't worry about where we're going to put the end product yet so move the calcification thing up and to the left one left i said left yeah up i can't oh up and to the left yeah now put the uh, extruder under yeah that under where that is Okay, so move five back to where it was originally. Put the extruder underneath where the arm for five is right now. Are you uh, 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 I, Okay, so... In between where five and the calcification thing is, put the other extruder thing on there. The thing that's giving you the object. This thing. Yeah, where that piston arm is right now, uh -huh. that where that wants to be hovering over where the... Yeah, there. So then, in theory, all it needs to do is grab that, extend two, and then let go. Right. Grab. I mean, we'll simplify this later. Give me a second. Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab, extend, extend. Let go. Let go. There we go. So then that just needs to retract to back to its starting position. And then that assembly, just move that off to one side for a minute. Retract. Retract. Wait, and then it's ready to go for another cycle. But we can leave that for a minute because now we know exactly where everything's going to be. We can manipulate the end point at the end there where the welder is to suit our fucking needs. So just grab the entire assembly there that we're using for the calcification thing, move that off to one side, like well away from where we're working for now, because we don't want to fuck with it. Uh. We can always just move four back, don't worry about it. Or you can just move it in two parts, it's fine. Okay, so now we have three devices. One that gives us our initial uh, 
the rod in the middle and one that calcifies and places the uh, object we need welded at either end. Right. Now, we just need to work out where the second process needs to sit in relation to the uh, number four arm so that it can just jab the things in there and still have adequate room to swing shit around. Mm. Just do the sequence up to that point so we can figure out what the... What, what just happened? What just happened? Four retracted too early. Why is three still holding on to it? Three should have let go by that point. Because three thinks it needs to let go. Uh, hold on, give me a second. It's, it's basically it's being a butthead right now. Okay, so it's doing the same thing two was. Simple. We just have it swing the arm a little bit further out of the way so it doesn't automatically grab things. Right. So swing that way once more. Yep. And then it'll be nice and sat out of the way. There we go. So, now we have... So... It at the... It needs to be able to rotate freely, which it can, then be able to extend one, and then it will be able to spin the object in its hand as freely as it wants. At which point we can weld one side, weld the other, and then pop it back down. So, just thinking of the sequence of events now. Well, you do. So, <laughs> we have four from this position moving forward, rotate clockwise once, twice, three times. and run the sequence. Let's see where we go. Why Why is he rotating out that quickly? Why you do this? Do you have to put in a wait command or something? The only wait command I have is this period override instruction, which doesn't do that. Because it, it just needs to sit there for a minute and let everything else do the work around it. It was working earlier as well. <laughs> Okay. It does that. Okay. Is, is there a way you can just tell an arm to just stop fucking moving when we're not asking it to do anything? Add spaces in the thing, I think. Alright, okay. I have an idea. I hate this idea. I have an idea. Okay, I fixed okay. it. I put in re yeah. I put in resets. The fact that you can't just tell it to, to wait for a period is really weird. Yeah, what yeah, what's yeah. that one on the bottom right of the available commands? What is that? This one? Repeat instruction. Yeah. Repeat instruction. All right, okay. Wait, so what's the one to the left of it that we've been using? Reset. Basically goes back to position. Okay. Which is what I've been using. Yeah. So... My brain. R run it for me again. Let me see what's going on here. Okay, so then 4 needs to rotate clockwise a couple of times and five needs to wait the fuck on okay so just like grab that move it way further up we know the sequence works we just needed to be timed so, so this needs to rotate clockwise three times three times i think yeah hopefully only three It's done it again! What the fuck? What the hell? Hold on. Okay, we're gonna try the repeats. To see if that works. Yep. 
Yeah, one's moving too damn soon. Can you drag out that arrow? No, I just have to do repeat again. Alright, that's weird. I the fact that this doesn't give you a weight command is so odd. I agree. Okay, uh, hold on. What's that command above T, the, like, line? What is that? That's, uh, for the, uh, if we're using... Move instruction. Moves an arm on a track in a negative direction, positive direction. All right. Yeah, it's the, it's the track commands. The fact that this doesn't give you a weight Wait, is so, so weird. fucking bizarre. It's basically you have to put in empty spaces to count as weight. Yeah, I know, but if there's no... So you have to have a command somewhere along there, or it doesn't consider it to be a weight. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Okay. Wait, hold on. So, I think I have an idea. I think. I don't know. I just think. Yeah, two's grabbing it again. Two. Yeah, two needs to just be kept out the fucking way. So... Why is it not listening to me? Right, it needs to go left again. It's just going to automatically grab that in a second. Yeah, so left again. So, counterclockwise? Yeah. I hate the fact that you don't have a way. This is so... Bizarre? Abs it, it, it's not bizarre. It is absolutely infuriating. What's the, what's the little clock thing do? Uh, period override. When starting the transmutation engine, all instruction sequences are automatically padded so they have the same period of time as the longest instruction sequence in the solution, which ensures all arms are kept in sync. By placing a period override instruction at the end of the instruction sequence, the period of solution can artificially be increased. This rarely is necessary, but can be useful if the solution is repeating too quickly. Causing that's the wait. That's a wait. That's a wait? Yeah, that's a wait command. Okay, so where do you want me to put the wait command? Right in front of one. Mm -hmm. And then... Okay, so we need it to repeat a couple of times, but then we just need it to stay the fuck out the goddamn way. Okay, so hit hit okay. Okay, 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 okay. I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this idea. I got this. I got this. I got this. Repeat, and then repeat, and then wait. Yeah. Let's try that. What's causing the collision? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's because one's moving too quickly before three has a chance to. Okay, so, so basically move the sequence for this one over one. I'm yeah. Ta da! We fixed it! There we go. Okay, so one's just going back to. Okay, so put in a bunch of clocks on one, just like a shit ton of them. You can only do it once per thi What? Uh, <sighs> why though? Well, I'm understanding why people don't like this game after a certain point. <laughs> like, it, like tell, telling a thing to wait for its turning the sequence is like basic manufucking factoring. <laughs> uh... The fact that it doesn't want you to have one is just so mind-boggling to me. I guess it assumes we just want to repeat and re- Wait, hold on. I have a dumb idea, and I'm gonna try, and if it doesn't work, I don't know. I think I might have fixed it. Yeah. I think. Four needs to retract a little earlier. Yep. There we go! We fixed yeah. the problem! I mean, that needs fixing, but I can fix that with a simple repeater. Yeah. Oh, look! Reset. 
Okay, so uh, show me where number four ends up, and then we can work out what we need to spin and where we need to put it. Okay, so grab the entire assembly for the calcification thing, and you want to move it so that the um, the welding thing is in the appropriate position for how we want to weld it on. So you'll need to grab the entire assembly, rotate it, it anti-clockwise once. Oh, we! I can't. I can't rotate the whole thing. Oh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So we can just move the the welding thing to whatever orientation we want, and then just point the glyph of whatever at it. Calcification. Thank you. <laughs> like this. Yeah. Okay. Run it. All right. Okay. okay. So then we want five to activate once four gets there. Once five has done its thing and retracted to grab another orb, four just needs to uh, extend the arm out one, rotate three times, and then pull itself back to have to present the other end. Which way? Clockwise or counterclockwise? Uh, it'll want to be counterclockwise, because okay. if we swing clockwise, the uh, welded end will get in the way. Three, then retract. Yep, and it should be able, it should present the other end to do its thing. Yeah, present. Yep, welded. No, we needed to rotate the thing in its hand, not the actual arm. Sorry, I explained that badly. Pivot, pivot. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I I assume rotate, not pivot. Yeah, sorry. You didn't know the term was pivot. What? Yeah, they're, st they're still not waiting their fucking turn for four to finish. Okay. Let's see if that fixes it. Yeah. So, why is it why is four rotating back around that way? Okay, so... Four for a second was in exactly the right position. That's when we want five to slap another one on the end. Right. So why did it pivot like that, though? That's right. Yeah. And then it retracts. Hold on. Yeah, it retracts. So now it's in the correct position. We want five to, while four is retracting, be pushing that next one over, ready to do its thing. So pretty much just exactly the same sequence as we already have there, and then we just, you know, need to work on timing. Timing! Let go. Um, and then retract two. Retract two. Right. And then it should just be a case of timing that. Boop. Boop, okay. And then four just needs to rotate the other direction push out and then drop it onto the this thing yeah which we can just orientate to wherever it is going to be so rotate four this, this yeah anti-clockwise right. okay I got it I got it yeah Right there. Uh, that won't be in line. Remember, four is holding on to the... Yeah, there we go. And then just hit reset for this one. Hopefully this works. Okay. Oh, we've built it the wrong way around. We can flip it. No, we're welding the... Okay. Run it again, and let me, and then um, take a look at which direction we've welded the boomerang shape in. Okay, stop there. 
You see the things in the wrong orientation. Wait. We needed to be welding onto the bit above, not below where the stick is right now. No, no, it's literally just a case of reorientating the device. All right. Okay. How do we reorient? Okay. Okay. Forget that for now. Just move that out of the way. Take the welder. And then just rotate the whole thing around so it's pointing up instead of down, but on the same side of the grid. What? Okay. So you see where... Th yeah, like that. And then you need to just, just put five in the, the correct initial position and it should be fine. Okay, so where you had the end point was perfect. This point? Yeah. You want me to move it again? Yeah, grab the entire assembly and just move it further up. Right here? A little bit further, I think, because we... You need it to be welding it on the top side rather than on the bottom side, otherwise the orientation is going to be wrong for the final part. I should be getting ready for game, yes. Oh yeah, you should do that. I should, yes. Alright, okay, so it's in just the wrong position. <laughs> okay, so it's just a positioning thing now. The sequence is currently mostly fine to build the product, so you... Just need to move that second assembly around a little bit, work out where it needs to be, and then you'll be fine. Okay. But I promise you everything else is good. And then it's just a case of slapping it in the hole. And then it needs to rotate once more. Okay, that's one too many, sorry. You need to extend it. Uh, no, you don't need to extend it. The extension's fine there. What am I doing? The sequence is fine, it's just the positioning of that second assembly. Oh, this thing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Maybe... You just need to move that assembler to the right once now try that again it's not in its it can't be thrown in now just just hit play boom and then all right okay so we just need to turn down get we don't we don't need it to we don't need it to extend anymore we just need it to rotate Oops, I did the wrong one. It doesn't need to extend and rotate, it just needs to rotate that now. This is hard. This is iteration. Oh, Maybe okay. it needs one extension. It does. It will need to... Yeah, you'll need to... Ro rotate the arm, extend it, rotate the object, and then bring the arm back down, and then sort out the seat, the timing for five to come in and slap the second end on. Uh, okay, so rotate. Right, I, I really gotta go. I'm sorry. It's okay. I can do this. I believe in me. As I die. In Don't worry. I do as well. You'll be fine. Bye. All right. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Later. I don't question it. Anyway, be right back. I have to use the restroom. Be right back. I have to pee. Math is on.
Oh. Okay, I'm back. I've also returned Punk Mogul. And I freaking hate math. Anyway, let's see how this looks. And do that. <sighs> Did the wrong, the wrong rotation. I do wrong this time. I am not stupid. I am not stupid. I am not stupid. I'm stupid. And then, repeat! Yeah, I did it! I'm eager to see how the rockets perform. They better fucking perform after all the fucking shit I did to them. <laughs> I should have given myself a glass of water, which I'm gonna go do right now. Excuse me while I go get some water.
eager to see how these rockets perform. The dude and smoke is always quite a sight. A rocket barrage to give them a good fright. Rocket barrage? Don't you think that might be a bit much? Public events isn't to stop advancing. Oh yes, and no, they'll regret, they'll regret not stopping either. It's taken long enough for us to organize this response. But now we have the full might of the House Phantasm to bear down on them. That will put a stop to their advance. Sure it will, Jan. Airship doctors now lost two. I thought we were pushing them back. Seems they're moving quite fast, further than we anticipated. Why do I feel tired? This is an absurd. We don't own them. We do, but what if this keeps happening? We lo won't we lose the war? Come now, it's hardly a war. And what is it? I've explained it. It's Hello, friend. Hi, Mac. I'm in hell. Save me. I've explained it as best understood as they say a kind of diplomacy. This is absurd. All right, I'll do it again. I'll sure the house Colvan regrets building anything. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, God. The universe hates me. Oh, I'm so stupid. I am too stupid for this. Why did I think this would be a smart idea for me to do? And I'll need this, which I need to make into 10, which is one step, thankfully. Why did I think this was smart for me to do a game that involves big brain thinky? I can't even, yeah, if you know sequencing, you'll understand this. I barely understand anything. Okay, so grab, rotate, drop, move that way. We got that done. Okay. That's fine. We will do the wait sequence in a second on that. 
Number two is... Grab, rotate other way, drop, well, this one's grab. Grab, rotate, wrong way, rotate, rotate, wait you idiot. Set. Okay. This one is reach out, grab. How's everyone doing, by the way? Is everyone enjoying my stupidity? Grab. Pull back. Fuck! in the wrong way. Counterclockwise, cat. Counterclockwise. Oh, you need two rotates. And drop. Wait, no, you don't need a drop. Rotate again that way and pivot drop. Wrong pivot. Wrong pivot again. Pivot, pivot drop. Okay. And then that is grab. Hold on, hold on, I can do this. How this is going? This is going. Da, 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 da.
No extension. Pivot. Wrong way. Pivot the other way. Pivot. 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 This works. <laughs> Wrong rotation. And then drop, and then we're good. And then drop, and then repeat. Let's see how this goes. Could I do this faster? Maybe. Behold. Yay, I did it. These vials contain vapor that makes areas inaccessible for a time. A mist of poisoned? It won't be fatal. How very honorable. I doubt Armand would be pleased. Do you have better ideas? We've been struggling to catch up this whole time. Nonsense. We're making a good show of our defense while the house call Vaughn respond to our message. A truce will be negotiated soon enough. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Won't the terms be more favorable if we push back harder? The terms will be favorable either way, Armand, as a master negotiator. It is how we built this house into what it is today. Yeah, and it's dying! I got an idea for a new weapon. Something simple that even the house staff can use. Staff who haven't been bestowed a sword, a sword certainly could be given any other weapons. What if House Kovan doesn't stand down? What if our soldiers can't hold the line against them? You are foolish. A message will arrive any moment now. What is? I have doubts for 200, Alex. You keep saying that, and yet... Besides, if the fighting in if there's fighting indoors, the damage to the property would be extremely unfortunate. Ha ha ha. If Calvan breaches the perimeter, won't the consequences be much worse? What are we making? Oh no what oh, no no no. 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 No no no. No. What the fuck? Is this? No, 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 no. What the fuck? Was it not hard enough? What is my purpose? You passed the butter.
is stupid. Oh, this is stupid. Oh, this is stupid. Designed this, I wish to sue them. I I hate this. I legitimately hate this. I have rage. Why does it then down there and then repeat? Hold on, hold on. Problem, problem, small problem. <sighs> Rotate and pivot. And let go. Rotate, rotate, pivot, and then go.
I can do this. I believe in me. Back! Okay. Okay. We just have to... Yeah, thank you, Mac. I'm gonna need that you got this in a second. It's bumping into that. Okay. Grab, rotate. Grab, rotate, rotate. Never give up, never surrender. Thanks, PGO. File fire available to be thrown by anyone, even those with no training. I can't imagine Captain enjoying that thought. Oh no, he absolutely hates the idea. Then why pursue it? Shouldn't we take every measure possible to ensure our victory? Are you sure this improves our chances? I don't know. Maybe not. I feel like I have to try everything. You're very enthusiastic, at least. Uh oh. Tavos Kovarn, Master of Hal Kovan, Kovan would like you to know that way he will be pursuing this campaign until your unconditional surrender is received. For years, House Kovan has watched House Phantasm reap the benefits of standing of standing without its justly earning, and Master Kovan, in his wisdom, has decided his arrogance has gone long enough. Uh, light your beacon, gr signal green to your surrenders. This we will not get shade. I've been streaming for about three hours now. What are you doing with the ancient armor? It's an Atolfius. I must lay down my life in battle. Some other things responsible to the situation. But that's such an old set. We should get you something more of the day from the armory. No, no. If I must see it on the streets, I want to look like the heroes of old. Oh my god, this idiot. First rocket will be your end. If you insist on the set, at least let me improve the uh, improve it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Oh Lord, help me. Okay. Okay. I I think my brain's hurting. I suck at puzzle games. I need help with these. I hate this. I'm gonna make Mercury, which is... Yeah, welcome to my hell. Yeah, I don't know. I'm slowly starting to think I should end stream because my brain is turning into what is now known as chocolate pudding. It's a scientific term, you understand. Ugh. <laughs> I have an idea! It's stupid! But it might work! It might not work. I have one job on this lousy ship, and it's stupid, and I'm gonna do it, okay? Grab. Turn. Release. Repeat. Grab. Turn. Release. Okay. How many do I need to do for iron? Two, thank God. Fine, Regent King Ray. Uh, I'm just really stressed right now because I'm trying to do this stupid little puzzle. What is your purpose? Your purpose is to rotate! And you just keep doing that and never stop. I'll rotate. That's what I'm doing. Oh. Start when you're done. Okay, why are you being like this, bitch?
I was right. It's just misbehaving. Take back, grab, rotate again, release. Why do you keep? Because you keep doing the wrong one. Oh no. Then restart from position. Thank you. Okay. Restart from position there. Rotate. Release. Alright, who's not letting go? Uh. Repeat. Okay. That was dumb. Grab, turn, release, repeat. It's called Omnis Maximus. It's a pain in the ass. Why? 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 Okay. Wait, hold on. Get over here! Track, track, tracks. Track! Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Eh. 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 Try this. There we go. Back step. This is what we call a pain in the ass of the game. Oh, I hate that. There may be hope. Perhaps I will single hands and turn the tide of battle. I suppose anything's possible. What circumstances of offenses like this hasn't changed in generations? Centuries passed down by the Armstrongs. Uh, and yet here we are. I swore to defend House Fantastic for life. I thought it would be a very long time. No matter what happens, you will be remembered, Captain. A courage potion, eh? 
Perhaps the Colvin message was a mistake. I wouldn't assume it was. It could be retracted, an error by a scribe or a page. The letter was to some extent. I'm sorry to say that it's rather unlikely. Uh, stay here a little while longer, Captain. I'll make you a potion of courage. Please tell me it's water. Thank you. How kind of you. That's alcohol. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're doing this now, I see. <sighs> yep, that's that's alcohol. We're making booze. Woo, cheap booze. Okay. Drinker. Jesus fucking Christ, that scared me. Why the fuck is my anxiety up through the roof right now? supposed to be scary like that. It's just because I'm in such hyper-focus mode. It freaked me out. Gladio. wrong yeah I rotated the wrong way that's what the problem was Okay, we have made the chemical.
then I can do rotate. I can do rotate grab. No. Yeah, rotate, rotate. No. Oh, come on, brain, you can do this. Then twice let go. In theory, that should work. Okay, now we just have to repeat. There we go. See, I'm not stupid, I just have problems. Did you, do you think the courage potion will work? It seemed difficult to contract the habits of a lifetime. Yeah, well, after a fashion, the potion I gave him was mostly alcohol. I had to see you haven't lost your willingness to toy with the poor captain, even in these dire straits. It's not toying. Not this time. If honor demands it, then he will lay down his life. I want him to feel comfortable, at least most like himself. That's touching in an odd sort of way. Uh, my lord, the enemy is upon us. I must now center the fray myself. It has been an honor, the highest honor to serve you for almost 50 years. If I had 100 lives, I'd give them all, but sorry, I only have the one. Surrender flare. Oh, God. That's the end of it. Guilt made a sacrifice, and the soldiers are fleeing. I have a word from Armand himself. We'll change the signal light to a pale green. Armand better treat is better at treaties than he is at battles. That's hope for a surrender. I hate this after everything I did. If I hadn't been for the Captain Guild's tepid strategies and Armand's stubborn instances on keeping honor and Frederick's inability to do anything, but the future remains to be seen. We were defeated so easily. I can't believe this. I just got here a few months ago, and the first major event is our surrender to another house. I've been here my whole life, and I've never witnessed something like this. <clears throat> ah, yes, the glyph of unbonding. I hate the glyph of unbonding. No, 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 no. Je surrender. I give up. I'm waving my white flag here. My brain hurts. I can't do this game anymore. I, I can't. I just, I just, I just can't. I just, I just can't. I, I can't. I can't. My head hurts. Ugh. I am so sorry, audience, that I'm so dumb. I feel real stupid. Can't do this stupid little game. Just my head hurts, and I'm overthinking everything. Ugh. I'm so sorry, guys. I feel bad that I can't do this. I feel stupid. I really feel stupid. I thought I could handle this damn game, but I'm just getting overwhelmed, and I don't know why. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can find something to either A, make you guys raid, or something. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I just feel dumb all of a sudden replaying this game. I know someone who is uh, doing their special stream anniversary, and I wanted to send you guys. So, I'm going to see if they're still alive. Uh, what is their name? Hold on. Oh, there it is. Annie Banani. Uh, they're celebrating their stream anniversary. Right now, uh, not the stream anniversary. They're uh, uh, what is it? Their affiliate anniversary, 
sorry, my brain's just being mush right now. Go raid them, tell them happy streamer uh, affiliate anniversary and all that jazz. You guys be good people. I'm I'm going to dunk my head in a bucket of water because I just feel real stupid right now and I don't know why. Note to self, when you're still mentally not stable, don't play games that make you feel stupid. Um, see you guys later, okay guys? Behave.